never had much reason to smile. He grew up poor, buried his rarely there alcoholic father at the age of 12, committed his own mother to an insane asylum, stepped out on his first stage at the age of five. That was 1894, the same year William Kennedy Dixon received the patent on an invention that would open the door to a brave new world of possibility. No one knew it was a little boy named Charlie who would take this medium into the limelight. Despite a lifetime of limping from one devastation to the next, it took a boy defined by tragedy to put the concept of laughter into context. For someone who so often said it all without saying a word, he spurred the imagination onward with statements like, to truly laugh, you must be able to take your pain and play with it. His wit made silence sing. His silence made audiences bring him their troubled minds as if for a moment he could lose them in hilarity. First name Charlie, last name Chaplin. A man who could pin his own pain to the screen, then lean in to kiss misery, only to pull away at the last second because that was comedy. Charlie, who gave the world permission to smile while in the midst of the Great Depression. A man whose every indiscretion was scrutinized by the FBI, but went on to reply, I remain just one thing, and one thing only, and that is a clown. It places me on a far higher plane than any politician. His transition into talking movies came at a time of global threat. When Hitler set his eyes upon the world with a sense of ownership, Charlie took it upon himself to equip the world with hope and went on to state, the hate of men shall pass, and dictators die, and the power they took from the people will return to the people, and so long as men die, liberty will never perish. I consider this the wish of a man who knew enough to know, should the world ever go blind, we will find ourselves with hope. That the true scope of joy is not limited to the trials we go through or the tests we take. That our hearts break only to serve as a reminder that we are here. That every tragedy is a detour meant to steer us past the last failure and into the next success. We are born into the concept of yes, but educated into the fields of no. So get up and go forward like Charlie, who had no reason to smile but did it anyway. Take your pain and play with it. Commit laughter in the face of despair. Wear a smile and change the lives of those around you. Glue your hand to your heart and promise yourself that tomorrow will be better, I promise. Nothing is permanent in this wicked world. Not even our troubles. Charlie knew this better than most. Went from desperate poverty to toast of the town in a career that spanned 73 years. From the stage to the screen. And in between every scene it was Charlie versus McCarthy. Despite never wanting to fight, Charlie used film to battle a government brazen enough to call a clown a communist. I ask you to resist misery. To let it love your company only from a distance. Your existence is not defined by how many times you are dragged down and knocked out. True victory is about suffering, defeating, getting up to go forward, so get up. Because the way to your heart is through your heart. If this world is a stage, do not simply play your part, invent it. Sit at the edge of a pratfall and dive in. Pin your pain to the wall and laugh. Live like half of your days are numbered and all the rest are yours to play with. Your spirits are not confined by gravity, so lift them. Even today, in these modern times, while the world climbs further into tomorrow, I borrow a page from the past to remind myself of how fast life can go from bad to worse. It is at these times we must rehearse our joy, then force ourselves to forget it so we may relive it once more. Let us roar like a litter of kittens who fell in with the wrong crowd and started taking steroids. No one in this life avoids sadness. Even happiness casts a shadow. That's the trade-off. To know joy, we must also know agony. Like Charlie, who embraced his pain even upon being sent into exile. So I remember the man that inspired the words. Smile, though your heart is aching. Smile, even though it's breaking. Although it's here. Maybe ever so near That's the time You must keep on trying Smile, what's the use of crying? You'll find that life is still worthwhile If you 
Die. And the power they took from the people will return to the people. And so long as men die, liberty will never perish.